this video will go over a market analysis tool uh, that we have now in our pro product uh, called search and segment data from multiple centers and you can obtain that at the top here with this market analysis tool and it's this first one that says search data around multiple locations and store results in marketing lists or territories just real briefly a marketing list is a subset of points from a larger list and a territory is just a grouping of uh, states counties or zip codes in this case I have two data sets on the map I have my dealers which is the data set that I'm gonna create my territories around and then I also have a data set of Walmart's across the nation just so I can have another point layer to show you what a marketing list looks like so in this tool I'm gonna to choose my dealer data set from the pull down list and then I choose the option uh, do I want to use a straight distance like a radius circle uh, do I want to do a drive time dis a, a drive distance saying I just want a shape that shows me how far I can get in 35 miles or do I want to use a drive time option to see how far I can get in a certain uh, number of minutes um, I would typically leave this box unchecked for the sake of creating territories um, you can come back to this if you did want to find uh, you can actually set the date and time for the drive time radius I would only use this tool really if you're kind of centering on a small area uh, if you just want kind of like a major urban area in a, in a small range uh, just so it doesn't bog down because it does a lot of calculations there so uh, right below that we set the minutes for our drive time or our mileage if we chose a straight distance or a drive distance in this case I'm going to choose my radius and let's say I want to see how far we can get within 40 minutes that seems like a reasonable territory I'm going to check this box so I have the polygon on the map and I can just change the color to anything I like. Click next. This next screen is going to show you how many driving credits, uh, routing credits you're using up. Uh, anytime you create a route or a drive time polygon, it will count a, a route credit against your plan. Uh, you can see here how many have left and also you can check in your account tab and you can always get more if needed. So this is just going to do uh, a brief synopsis of how far it can travel. For those multiple locations just keep in mind the more points you have the bigger the radius you have the more time it'll take to calculate the distance but uh, it's pretty quick and it should be done in just a moment okay so now the program has calculated in its mind the drive time distances and now it's asking us what data do we want to find within that drive time distance do i want to create a marketing list and find the walmart buildings that are within that shape or in this case, from creating a territory, I'm going to choose my geography like zip codes. We would check this box down below where it says create multiple territories. Uh, this way that the, the territories are not going to be one territory. They're going to be segmented uh, into individual territories if I choose this box. Uh, I can choose a prefix name if I want. Just to give you a heads up, the territory name is going to be essentially starting around. Uh, the name is going to be taken from the dealer name. And so the prefix, uh, you can just add a little bit before that. Uh, maybe I want to let it know that, yeah, this is based off a 35 minute or a certain time frame, or I could just do test or something like that. Click create. Now you'll see my, uh, my legend in the top left that shows me all of my different options here. And if I choose my pull down list in the data window, I can see all of the individual territories that were made. You can see my prefix. And then you can see uh, the territory name uh, based off the dealer location. If I want to, I can just click on one of these and then export with this button on the right-hand side. So now if I turn off my Walmarts and zoom in a little bit, I can start to see what some of these territories look like. I had my territories box unchecked, so I'm going to just go ahead and check that show it appears and so now you can take a look at your territory and see uh, if you like it and see if it needs any tweaking uh, if if the drive time polygon barely touches a zip code like in this case and you decide that you don't want it in your uh, territory we can click on the zip code this little select geography box pops up we can click on the zip code number click continue and there's a little blue puzzle piece that appears and if we want to remove it click on that blue puzzle piece and choose remove from that territory and it's gone and you can choose to export that if needed uh, if everything is the way that you like it and you're done for the day you could choose to delete your drive time polygon if you want you can just click on it and then just click delete or the red x and it's all gone 
So this is a pretty exciting tool. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with it. Uh, should be a big time saver for some people. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. We're available through phone, chat, and email. You can also uh, check out our help topics at the top where we contain step-by-step -step instructions and videos. Thanks and have a great day.